Ahead of our first matchup between the Warriors and Wizards, Washington has seven 30 assist games in their last 13, all without John Wall. Chocolate City! They had such uh, five such games in their previous 48. For more on that, we welcome Cassidy, Cassidy Hubbard. Cassidy, don't stand too close Kiss? to the sideline. Um, you I mean, know Paul's what, Paul? Just, talk. <laughs> just, just stop talking right there. Um, uh, Jalen always cracks me up with his little cries out there. I just want to do a quick update on John Wall. As you mentioned there, uh, I spoke with Scott Brooks. He said that um, he's doing some running on an Ultra G treadmill right now and a bike. He's also doing some light stretching. They're expecting him to get out on the court to do some shooting in about a day or two. And Kevin Durant was asked at shoot around today about those people saying that the team is better without John Wall and. Kevin Durant said those are people who don't understand basketball. He also uh, gave his former coach, Scott Brooks, a lot of credit. And there was a ton of media at shoot around today. Felt like a playoff game. Big reason why the Warriors visit to the National Museum of African American History uh, in lieu of the traditional White House visit after President Donald Trump withdrew his invitation to the Warriors after Steph and a couple other players, you know, decided earlier this fall that they may not have interest in going. And I asked Steph, you know, or excuse me, he, Steph Curry was asked today uh, about what he's learned from this whole experience. I think generally how unifying it's been um, with the conversation around how sports is kind of mingled in with not just with politics, but just change in society. You know, guys around the league understand the power of their voice um, and, and having each other's back and really trying to, you know, like we always say, just spread love and positivity. I think that's that's been the biggest thing that I've noticed you know, in the last what year, eight months, year to a year, um, and that's 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 healthy. I think that's what what's what we're you know all trying to accomplish. Forty students from actually Katie's hometown joined the Warriors at the museum, and an additional thirty students were going to be given tickets to tonight's game, so they will be in attendance. And when both Kevin Durant and David West were asked if they had any regrets not going to the White House, they both said, "No, they don't." Jalen, what do you think about how the Warriors handled this trip to D.C.? Cassidy, I absolutely loved it. As a matter of fact, I remember in November of 2016 talk to, talking about the fact that if this sitting president was to be elected, players in the NBA and in the NFL would deny the opportunity to visit the White House. It's just funny now how it spent that, oh, the invite was rescinded. You can't rescind an <laughs> right. invite when I don't want to come. <laughs> you can't break up with me, I broke up yeah. with you. <laughs> right, first and foremost. So I love what they did. I hope it sets a new precedent for other teams to follow, that you can still enjoy your championship while giving back to the community. No, I, I love it for the simple fact that I wish I had the opportunity to go and visit the White House like my buddy to the, uh, the, the right of me. But I, I think the impact that it has on the community and, and, and these guys that probably never had a chance to go and visit this museum, yet alone, they go going with guys that they idolize, that they look up to with Steph Curry and KD and those guys. So I think it has more of a, a, a huge impact on the youth than a team of guys that have so many doors open up to them, uh, meaning Golden State and us NBA players to be able to go and visit the White House anytime we want to. I, I think the tradition should be changed. I mean, the team that wins the championship in any sports should be able to donate to their favorite charity. You know, I mean, I love what the Golden State Warriors are doing or, or, or give back to the community in some kind of way. I mean, it's more impactful. I mean, them taking them to the African American Museum I couldn't get in the African American Museum. You know, the, the waiting list is probably like two or three years away. And so uh, I think it's a beautiful thing that they're doing, and, and it, it's a learning experience. That's going to stick with those kids for a lifetime. Absolutely. 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 Lifetime.